only have 10 minutes. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> you should see his resume. It's like that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Here. We would love to... I, I don't know what to say about history. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Ogden and uh, moved to California. And then uh, got caught up in the uh, uh, evacuation in uh, 38, no, 41, huh? Got uh, sent to Heart Mountain, Wyoming, and was there for three years. And then uh, went back to Ogden, where I was born, and then uh, graduated at high school and uh, volunteered for the Army, and I was in our service for four years and, uh, in military intelligence. Was in Japan, came back, uh, went to Weaver College, which is in Ogden. And then from Weaver, I transferred to University of Utah because it was a two-year junior college at the time. And from there, I uh, got my degree in political science and then went and got my degree in law. I went back and got my master's in social work. And then i uh, been working at different kind of positions. I was a caseworker at one time and then a referee in the juvenile court and then a county attorney. And then I was in private practice for about six years. And then from there, uh, it's, I worked in the uh, attorney, uh, attorney General's office before I went into private practice. <coughs> and then when I went into private practice for about six years, I was uh, appointed a city court judge. I guess the first minority to be appointed a judge in the state of Utah. And there from, uh, let's see, I was there. In, in the 1978, by state law, they made the city court judges, circuit judges, you know, on the state courts. And I was there, let's see, until uh, 84, I ran for a district court judge here, which is a general jurisdiction court. Mm -hmm. It'd be a, uh, in California, it'd be equivalent to their superior court. <coughs> I was elected and then I retired in 1990 and uh, served as a senior judge and heard cases throughout the state for about eight or nine years and then uh, I resigned my position and got into uh, uh, business. I own a little pizza parlor. <laughs> I had to close one of them but I still have one open. We're struggling and then uh, I've been involved in community work. Uh, during the time I was in private practice, I was uh, involved in JSL a lot. So I became national president of JSL. And uh, I've been involved with JSL for a long time, so since that time. And right now I'm not very active in it, but I do support the local chapter and I'm sort of the coordinator for the local chapter of JSL. And I've been involved in a lot of community activities and since my retirement, uh, I uh, helped co-found the uh, uh, Utah Minority Bar Association, which is kind of unusual because we have all Asian groups, you know, uh, all minority groups mixed up in that, I should say. And uh, I was the first president of that. And then after that, I helped co-found the, uh, co -found the uh, uh, Utah Asian Chamber of Commerce, which is which is all Asian groups, mixed Asian group, and both of them have been relatively successful. And uh, Janie and I have worked on <laughs> Japantown, <laughs> and we've been struggling with that for a while, and uh, uh, because of Janie's uh, persistence and so forth, I have to stay in there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Janie has really done a good job on that, and I think partly because of her good job on that, she got a little notoriety and uh, she carried on and be became successful as a councilwoman for Salt Lake, the first Asian American councilwoman in the state of Utah. In fact, probably the first elected Asian American in the state of Utah. Woman. Woman. And right now... He was my campaign manager. <laughs> and right now I'm <laughs> just kind of trying to survive my uh, business and uh, trying to get some of my own things done. And then I just got involved in a group called uh, 
Citizens Council, which consists of some prominent citizens in the state of Utah. And I don't know how I ever got on that, but they talked me into being on that, and uh, we're trying to make some, hopefully, changes in the state in terms of ethics and in terms of what they call fair boundaries. It's another group, but they're trying to uh, reorganize the boundaries because Utah, if you're not familiar with it, is one of the states that has the most gerrymandered uh, districts in the whole United States. And so we're trying to make it more balanced. <laughs>